Hey, every year I like to compete in my town's bathtub cherry races. Never won, then I've never lost either. This year I've got a little secret I've been working on. Let's go! Okay, who, uh, who are you gentlemen? I'm the sound guy for the film. Okay. Ronnie Elmore, I run camera. Okay. Um, and uh, what did you guys think about the races today? Well, I've been going to the chariot races for about eight years now, and I haven't seen anybody go for it the way Cucumber did today with the Molotov cocktail. Boom, right in there, the guy goes up in flames. I yeah, can't... yeah, he lit a guy on fire. He cheated. No, the little mayor didn't say anything about rules. You got to go for it, man. This is no a big one had prize time. On the line. He was burning. There's a big he prize on He was burning. On the line. He was on fire. Would you light a man on fire for a pizza? I guess not. Hello, I'm Forrest Fonda. And I'm uh, Philip Fellini. We're filmmakers. We're going to do a documentary on this guy, Lucky Cucumber Cavanaugh. He's had over 150 crappy jobs. Well, you know that whole Where's Waldo thing? Yeah. Well, it's nothing like that, but we're still trying to find it. Where's Lucky? I mean, really. Where's Lucky? Where's Lucky? Our subject, Lucky Cucumber Cavanaugh, got his name for two reasons. One, he looked like a cucumber when he was born. And two, turns out he's the luckiest son of a bitch in J-Town. But he's also the unluckiest son of a bitch in J-Town. He's actually famous for his shitty luck. It seems every time something good happens to him, it whips him in the ass. Lucky Cucumber! Lucky! Oh shit, come on. This is his cape. Lucky Cucumber lives in that cape. I think. Lucky Cucumber Kavanaugh! Lucky Cucumber! Lucky! Why'd you do that to me? Oh. Why are you looking for me? Because I want to make a documentary about you. Why me? Because you're interested, man. Is there any money in it? I don't know if people like you. 
Okay, let's go. Fuck. Huh. So, uh, is it true you've had over 100 jobs? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm gonna make some money off your movie, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you know what uh, deferred pay is? No. <laughs> it's brilliant. Why don't you rig up something more logical? I'm gonna hang myself someday. Can't find anything around this place. Say, any of you boys got any push books? I might want to jerk my lizard. Would you get on. the hell out of here? I'm trying to have an official interview. Sure, sure. Huh? Why don't you go jump in the lake, you little woodpecker? <laughs> uh, who is this old dude? My fucking grandpa. He uh, thinks I'm a loser. Uh, ha! Thanks. Hey, listen, pal. You can go to any country in the world, pick up their encyclopedia, and look up the word loser. And you'll see my grandson's picture right smack dab in the middle of the page. Check it out. Go to China. Go to Lithuania. Would you shut the hell up, all right? I'm making a movie. I'm going to be somebody, asshole. <laughs> sure you're going to be somebody, right? After they teach frogs to fly jet airplanes. God damn, where's my mayonnaise? Oh, Jesus. You can't do anything right in this fucking house. <laughs> Me? Uh, it's gotta kind of suck having that old dude live here. I mean, it's a small fucking cave, man. <laughs> no, I mean, he used to be like a cowboy miner, so he's, he kind of knows his way around the place. You know? That's pretty cool. Just, I mean, you don't mind me asking, why does he live here? Would you? <laughs> he got kicked out of a couple different old folks' homes. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That old dude's rad. Yeah, it's not rad at all. Oh, that's pretty fucking sweet. Well, I'm here in my editing bay, making the magic happen. It's a long, tedious process. A lot of training, a lot of expertise involved. Dipshit's out filming with Lucky. Keeps bringing me back nothing but shitty dailies. I had an uncle with a weird penis. Yeah? Yeah, he, uh, he worked in the mines for years, and it's probably all the minerals he was around, because that guy had a giant toenail growing out of the head of his dick. And my aunt, bless her heart, she had to snap that thing off once a week before dinner. And if one of us kids found it, we got to sit at the big folks' table that night. Man, that's the most fucked up thing anybody's ever told me, man. What? That is so fucking weird, man. I've never told anybody that before. Yeah, you shouldn't ever tell anybody that. It's so fucking stupid and weird. Dude, just... Get me another beer. Just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here right now. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, my God.
I did. <laughs> Fucking punk. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> Oh God! Oh. oh God, I'm so sorry, Philip. That hurts so goddamn bad, man. What happened? You don't remember? What? You want to go to a hospital? What? You want to go to a hospital? Oh yeah, please. Yeah. This is my community mail hole. That's where I get all my mail, actually. Oh. Got a couple letters here. I'm sorry, Younger. I know I'm sorry. We. I'm sorry. That that was Unga. He's one of my next door neighbors. He's a good man. Well, he's a good caveman. His family's been here for thousands of years, and unfortunately, he hates me. Oh, Fellini, he can't direct for shit. Yeah, if this stock blows up like I'm thinking it just might, I think that I uh, may just go solo. Go out there on my own. Kind of a one-man band type thing. Do the directing, the editing, it all right in my truck. You know, I'm trying really hard to get some work, Gramps. Well, you're doing a shitty job. You could try a little harder. I ain't getting any younger, you know. If I hadn't ripped off them nuns this morning, we wouldn't have money for lunch. Well, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna get some money soon, and when I do, I swear to God, it's gonna take all. It's gonna take all of our problems away, all right? Sure it will. Sure it will. Hey, you two. Hey, sweet jugs. How are you doing, darling? Oh, huh? good. You're looking handsome today. Thank you, darling. Can I have that toad in the hole? I like that. Lucky, what can I get you, Kitty Pie? Um, let's get the uh, the bacon and eggs and the smiley face, if that's okay. Sure thing. You can have it any way you like. You gotta hit that, Lucky. I'm telling you, you gotta hit that. That tight ass of hers, those firm titties, smooth little peach fuzz on the tummy, long legs. <laughs> She'd never go for a guy like me. Don't talk like that. You're a Kavanaugh. If I can hit that, you can hit it. <laughs> you didn't sleep with Candace, Grandpa. You're going senile. Besides, I wouldn't even know what to say to a girl that hot. What you say is, <clears throat> I've worn out three sets of radial tires looking for a chick as hot as you, Jugs. Works every time. Get some. They can't resist. That's retarded. Retarded? Yeah. That's fucking retarded. Here we're thinking about going to get a drink after we eat some of Mrs. Candace's pretty, pretty pie. Yeah, why don't you get this old man here and come out and play with the boys, huh? Yeah, we don't like old people. They smell like pennies. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, you truck stop tweaker queer. Why don't you cover your head in grease and go clean an engine, asshole? You'll get yours, old man. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eat some shit, huh? We'll see you later, eh, Lucky? Right, man. Yeah. 
need it, like it. Dennis, get your sweet ass over here and give us some pie. Why don't you fucking tell Tommy stop holding hands? Oh, fuck. Those friends of yours are all a piece of shit. God. Yeah, let's get your autographs. You can just drop me off at Pinky Merle's. Job this asshole. Down in Mexico. Mexico. We made about what? We made about eight hundred dollars off of them horses, didn't we? I don't think so. Oh, well, Pinky's a Canadian grifter, right yeah. from the beginning. Oh, yeah. Ain't so much my body parts, but I, we had a good run there where I was giving plasma and femens down at the hospital. <laughs> his worst, his worst thing he ever did was going around siphoning the gas out of the trailers. And we were sitting in a new trailer, and he could come up, and he didn't realize the difference between the, the little hole that where you siphon the gas and the one that puts into the commode, you know, the portable <laughs> toilet. He stuck his pipe down the wrong one, and he liked to choke to death before he got out of that, you know. <laughs> don't, 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 don't put your feet up on the glass! <laughs> Candace, I think she's a fine lady. I'd like to uh, take her out around town. You know, maybe buy her some, some nice things like a, a bowl. That Candace is one grade A sweet piece of ass. I'm fixing on getting a lady friend real soon. I, I got a lot to offer. If I wasn't doing all this fucking meth, I'd spend every fucking penny I had on that bitch. It won't be like this forever.
sitting in a table in the corner. <clears throat> I guess they left. What the fuck? Yeah, well, you know, as soon as I realized that I had Lucky's money in his wallet, <clears throat> I realized that the kitchen pass wasn't a place to be. Right here at my house, doing meth with Lucky's money. That's the ticket. <clears throat> it's just common sense, you know? I know what you guys are thinking, but it's, uh... These guys are my friends, so... Sometimes things are cool, sometimes... It's not as cool as you'd like it to be. I'm gonna be somebody. I got a secret. It's a dream of mine. Something I can't uh, even talk to Todd about. What? What you talking about? I thought we knew everything about each other, inside and out. Nah, nah, you, you heard me all wrong. No, this interview's over. Uh, let's go do some smack. All right, yeah. Go do some smack. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? I'm Forrest Fonda. I'm an employee here for J-Ton Exterminators. I like to kill bugs, that's what I do. <laughs> Quick trick. My money's a little low. What I do is I just put a little Kool-Aid in here, a little instant beverage, and One of the best things about this job is that I have access to people's homes and businesses. When they're not around, I am. I have not paid for a lunch in over a year. I steal things, that's what I do. Sometimes I get high too. It's pretty good. These poisons, man. That means good times. I figure his job, he's got a future. Things seem to be going well. <coughs> uh, it's a little poison, but it's all right. I think I can, oh yeah. This is my day job. It's not as glamorous as Forrest's, but it you know, pays the rent. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got a lot riding on this documentary. I'm like days away from losing this job. I don't think I'm very responsible. You're a dick, man! Fuck off, old man! Philip, I want to give you a gaze test. I need your eyes to follow this pin without moving your head. Do you understand this pin? Do you understand the test? Where's it? Oh. Didn't do too well on that. What seems to be the problem? Can I start over? I think you failed that one pretty well. <coughs> I didn't fail. <clears throat> I just didn't get any sleep last night. Uh, okay. Can you step over here and do another test for me, please? What's your name? I'm Lucky. Hi, 
Hi, nice to meet you, Lucky. I'm sure I can find something for a young, virile, and handsome man like yourself. I hope so. I gotta get some money so I can buy some food for my grandpa. I made him water soup last night. Water soup? No carrots, potatoes? Nothing? No, nothing delicious. Just water. I just need to get something to tide him over. Maybe a little bit of money so I can keep the cave too. He has nowhere to go. Wow, that's really noble, Lucky. Your grandpa sounds like a nice guy. Yeah. You know what? Here's your first assignment. Let's see what you can do. Thank you. Good luck. I won't let you down. Lucky, the, uh, I think the real reason you're not having so much luck when you go to these, get the jobs and stuff, is you don't dress for the occasion. You have to make an impression that will last on people. Remember that dog fur scam I got last year, selling dog furs as pretending oh, the one in China? Right, the one in China. That's the one. Okay. Well, I've taken the liberty of putting the dog suit together for you. There's a pair of trousers here, and there's a top. And I want you to wear the damn thing. I know it seems a little strange, but if you wear that, I guarantee you, everyone will remember you. The people will never this is, forget you. Huh? This is real dog hair. It's real dog hair. There's 17 different dogs in here. Killed them, everyone myself, and skinned them, and then helped the girls put these together. But I'm telling you, if you do this, people will remember you. Who goes into an office for a job wearing a goddamn dog suit? Please, Mrs. Lomax, you gotta give me one more chance. I mean, I'm dressed for success here. Lucky, I don't know what to tell you. I've given you all of my best jobs already. It's gotta be something. I mean, anything. I will do anything. I gotta feed my grandpa. Okay, Lucky. I'll give you one more chance. The reason why he was locked up in the first place, he's in a delusional state. You okay, Matt? Did you realize that the Ouija board was spot for the pit of hell? Yeah, I did actually. And, uh, I'm gonna need you to come over here and talk to me for a second. Oh no, I'm gonna fucking chill you! Oh yeah? Yeah! Cucumber, the hero! Lucky, thank you very much. This is a lottery ticket for you for saving my life. Haley Mamnu. Thank you. Thanks.
I just want $10 million. Oh my god. <laughs> I can move out of the cave now. I can pay all my grandpa's bills. I just want $10 million. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good evening, J-Town. This is Chuck Dingles with breaking news. Last month's $10 million lottery winner, Lucky Cucumber Cavanaugh, has been spending money like it's going out of style. Not because he wants to, as it turns out, but simply because he can't say no. We first broke this story two weeks ago when we ran this clip. Lucky Cucumber gave me $10,000 just for smiling at him on the bus. Heartwarming, isn't it? What a dupe. Seems like ever since I came across this money, I've got all kinds of people coming out of the woodwork looking for me. I mean, I've got over 300 lawsuits filed already against me. Stuff from old babysitters, old hookers, even hookers that I never even fucked. Seems like just getting this money's made everybody around me greedy. And I want to share. I mean, I, I don't have a problem helping people out, but it's running out fast. Hop in, son. I'll give you a lift. Mr. Janeski? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, hop in. I'll give you a lift. Come on. Now, little bucker standing out there in the middle row. I knew something was going to hurt the little son of a bitch, so I felt it my civic duty just to get that little fucker to need be safe. <laughs> so what's it been, like seven years since high school? Wow, that time sure do fly, don't it? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Well, I didn't really want to take his money, but I feel real bad about hitting this little pecker. Give me your wallet. What? Give me your motherfucking wallet. Just, Give me your goddamn wallet. Just, what are you doing? Give me what your are you goddamn doing? Damn wallet, what? son of a bitch. I, yeah. Give me that watch, too. What watch? What fucking watch? Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Why'd you take his watch? Oh, it's a nice watch. Why wouldn't I take it? Oh, Lucky, you ain't such a bad kid. It ain't personal. What? Hell, I've been following you since you got the cash. If I was you, I'd get my little ass out of town in Pronto. Well, you know, I feel real terrible about bitch slapping that little sucker. He was one of my best students for about five years. Oh, uh, Chuck, I'll, I'll take you home. You will? But, uh, I don't think it hurt him bad. He cried a little bit, but, oh, uh, hell, you know those things happen. I hope he's okay, and I hope he don't hold it against me, because I'm not really that bad of a feller, you know? Well, Lucky, looks like it's time for you to hit the road.
Dirtball. <laughs> this shit fire and burn the matches. I am really jacked up on this shit right now. I could hurt somebody badly. Hell, I could even kill somebody. And that's why we're gonna go to Lucky's tonight and get that money. Woo! I'm trying to tell everyone that uh, I'm leaving the gang. <laughs> but it's not me you gotta worry about. It's Rodney. Because once he gets rid of this, he's gonna wanna hurt somebody bad. I really don't wanna hurt anybody. Yeah, I. I don't even want to go down there tonight. And, uh, I'm gonna start a new laugh. A laugh dedicated to, to poetry. I said it. I finally said it. it you wanna hear one? Uh, yeah, I, we'd love to. <laughs> <clears throat> this is an older one, so so don't judge it. The newer ones are a, a lot better. Uh, is, is it okay if I stand? Yeah, absolutely, whatever you want. <clears throat> Butterfly! Butterfly, don't you lie. I saw you stealing honey from that guy. Spiritual dawns and dream inspired longs. I yearn for a time when I spread my words. They sound prettier than singing birds. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I need water. I came here tonight to get some editing done. The fucking Forrest isn't even here. He hasn't digitized any of the footage from the last week. I got a stack of tapes I shot. It's amazing. I'm bringing fucking amazing dailies. One of my friends cut my penis off with scissors. Hmm. Yeah. And the doctor put it back on, but he put it on upside down. I pissed straight up in the air. It's so fucking shitty. So I use that pot to deflect the piss back into the toilet. Like, you know, it's my piss pot. Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! God, dude, yuck. What do you mean, yuck? You just told me you piss in that. Taylor, it's disgusting. All I'm going to do in here is sit and drink beer and wonder where the hell he is. I suck? You suck. We're both living in a cave here. We're sucking together. You little shit. Are you kidding me? I'll take you right now, old man. <laughs> oh, come on. You and what platoon of Marines? Oh, you want to go? You and me? Yeah. That'll be the day. Come on, let's step around here. You feeling lucky, punk? Well, my name is Lucky, Grandpa. All right, all right. Remember this, you asked for it. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Come on. Shit, Grandpa. Are you all right? I got dentures, you know. I know. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Did you come Get your ass out here. Go see who it is, son. I'll get up. I'll get up. Go see who it is. Ah, Jesus Christ. Lucky cucumber! What's up? 
give us the cash, Lucky. Now the boys here, we don't want to hurt you, right boys? Well, maybe Rodney does. I thought you guys were my friends. Friends are for Hallmark cards. This is real life. All right, I'll get the money. How much you need? <laughs> Half of what you want. Half for Tom and half for us, dipshit. Well, that, that would mean, I mean, that's, that would be... All of it. Yeah, that's all. I gotta give him the money, Grandpa. What? What do you want to give him that money for? I came outside. They want my money. I gotta give it to him. You ain't giving him anything. That's your money, even if you did just win it. No, you they're gonna it. hurt me. It doesn't matter. They're gonna hurt me. They're not gonna hurt you at all. So you sit down there and just relax. I'm gonna have a little talk with you. What are you gonna do? That's way too dangerous. It's not dangerous. I'm just gonna talk to them. Sit down. I'll be back in a minute. You can't just talk to him, Grandpa. You boys aren't gonna take 10 cents from my grandson. You best rethink yourself, old man, unless you wanna die in the field tonight. We will kill you. All right, bring it on. Grandpa! Mom. I'm so sorry. That's all. I'm so sorry. Okay. No. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry, boy. I'm fine. I'm dying with my boots on. I can't ask for too much more than that, son. You gotta do me a favor, boy. I'm gonna do you what? You gotta take my... Take my kidney to Malibu. Malibu. There's a little girl there. That, that, there's,
Some say you lose your grandpa, you lose everything. Just go on, mend it all, and stop trying. When I look into the sweet, sweet Missouri sky. We scored ourselves a meeting with a big-time Hollywood agent. Hey, I'm not impressed. He set up something that I didn't even know anything about, and now I gotta go meet this guy in Forrest's backyard. No, my cousin Marshall, he delivered a load of shingles out to the coast, and he met this guy at some sort of a taco establishment. And he set this whole thing up. Shady. And I think it's going places. Shady. Sounds so fucking shady. That's simply not true. You know, Hollywood just taints people, just ruins your lives. I'm trying to build our own little dream works here. I came out from Hollywood, so I have to do it, but it's like, fuck, man. I'm here to help you guys, all right? There's a lot of buzz about the documentary. What's buzz? It's a Hollywood term. It's like a slogan, an acronym, I think, is what they call it. Listen, it's a good thing. I'm not going to sign anything. We've no, 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 just think about it. Just. What I'm trying to say is, you need to sign with my agency, and this documentary will be the biggest thing ever. We're gonna help you finish it. You fuck off, dude. Uh, don't worry about him. I think we can probably work something out. Listen, what are you doing with this guy? I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's been a long run, it's been a good one. But it's time to say goodbye to Philip. I took that agent's deal, made a lot of money, getting rid of dipshit, I think it's gonna be all right. You did this, Philip. You did this to yourself, man. I was a good partner to you, I treated you fairly. I'm gonna pursue my dream of becoming a big rapper. 
I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna be somebody. Ah. Fuck you, Forrest. You fucking piece of shit. This is for you and it's to the fucking dome. I gave that motherfucker the best tears of my fucking life. <laughs> oh, fuck. I tried to make movies with that guy fucking nine years and he fucking stabs me in the fucking back. My whole fucking life is ruined. I don't have shit. I don't have shit. What the fuck are you looking at? I got Okay. Goodbye and good luck to you. Bye, Pinky. Lucky, can I ask you a question? Will you kill me? I I, I want you to. I, I I want you to. Your grandpa was all that I had left. The last of the straight shooters from the salad days. I ain't nothing without him. I can't do that, Pinky. Now, I know you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Stupid, but good. Well, you had a safe trip. Uh, I'll talk to you later, man. with me. Now we're doing it. We're doing it. Look at the spectacle you've become. Wipe that smile, boy, cause we all know that you're lying on your back after 15 rounds of two four. Cold up here, huh, Grandpa? That's why I put on a warmer hat. Some ice cream, Grandpa? Let me get you some ice cream.
Well, we made it, Grandpa. We're here at the beach. Here. Smell some of that salt air, Grandpa. Yeah. That's the real deal, buddy. Yeah, take it in. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Glad I got to share that with you. Cucumber, you saved a life today. Yeah. You are a son of a bitch. We brought the kidney. How'd you find me? There was an address on the kidney tag. Awesome, let's go. I thought I told you to get the fuck out of here. I know, but I brought the right kidney this time. Bullshit, Cucumber. He does have the kidney. He's a hero! <laughs> Your grandpa was a great man. I just hope that thing fits. Your daughter's a big girl. Oh, eight, baby. Yo, yo, big country and tech nine. Big country. Yeah. Tech nine. Big country. Oh, eight, baby. Tech nine, baby. Big, big country. country. Where's the motherfucking party, big country? Tech big nine, country. baby. Big yeah. country. Yeah. Big country from Missouri. Big country from Missouri. Come on. Means where's the party? Means where's the party? Where's the bitches? Where's the weed? What a blow, baby. Tech nine. Big country. Yeah. Big country. Big country. Talking to you about big country. <laughs> Feel it, man. We're going to talk a lot of bitches. Now, we ain't going to buy no bitches. We're going to buy our bitches. Yo, when you see me up in the spot, don't. I kind of miss the company of Forrest and Philip. It's kind of like having a couple friends follow me around all over. So, being rich and all, did you have to buy a bigger wallet? No. I think he really likes me. She's a fucking idiot. I mean, it's just so easy. It's like, I like to have a little cat and mouse. So, uh, I like to grow my own wine. I think it's uh, far more civilized that way. Oh my god! Wow. Uh, <clears throat> so. You wanna go get in the hot tub? Totally. You hearing anything I'm saying to you right now? <laughs> You're just here to get my money, right? Do you want me to take my top off This place is so fake. Everybody just kisses my ass here in Malibu. It's like fame and celebrity. It's just made me sad. Woe is me. Woe is me. Oh, I miss my home. I miss my grandpa. I miss my cave. Woe is me.
I make action pornos now. Big, long, hard, gay action pornos. Epic pornos. Like I'm the Jerry Bruckheimer of pornos. Which is cool. I'm pretty sweet at it. Coming this summer. That was a scene from Titanic, my $200 million gay porno epic about a, well, a gay cruise ship that really gets fucked up out at the sea. Um, my next one's The Gay Tricks, starring Pale. Yes, it will star you. Uh, I think, I think Forrest would be proud of what I'm doing here in my life. Well, back home now, back in a cave, but it's a pretty big fucking cave. I mean, look at this place. Got real vaulted ceilings, akin to something you might see in a cathedral. Long, long hallways, room for a horse stable, maybe even a big screen TV. Something my grandpa would have liked. I think he would have been proud of this place. He would have finally been proud of me. Cause we too damn sick. And y'all don't really keep it basic like this. Get blowed out, get keys up. Next level shit, get beamed up. Cause we too damn sick. And y'all don't really keep it basic like this. Get blowed out, get it's me! Making that money, doing that. We did that together, you know what I'm sizzling? We did that, we came up together, and you leave me like that, and I gotta turn on a motherfucking TV and see him with my bitch at the Music Awards? Oh, fuck yeah, I'm fucked up about it. Oh. We got some for his ass. We got some for your ass, Big Country. And Big Country, I wrote a rap about it. Like the head, here go, nigga. When you see me walking down the street, you better step aside. Because 40 people didn't, and 40 people died. I got a fist made of iron, a gun made of steel. If one don't hit you, the other one will, bitch. Tech 9, out. Stick a motherfucker saying rap is brainless. Got a lot of marijuana, man, you probably want to smoke. Stay grounded, fuck that. Try to stay afloat, so take two of these and call me in the morning. Got bored, took four, drank a couple boards. Man. Life is good, buddy. Life is good. Rap career is doing well. Got a couple of platinum albums. It's all looking good. Things cannot be better. Hey, yo, bitch country. Elvis has left the motherfucking building. <laughs> He's over. Kevin Federline is better. Stop it, Pam. I need to hear this. And he was my friend. He was my partner. I don't know what I'm gonna do. He's a hack. Let that shit go. He's not a hack, Pam. He was my friend. I'm gonna let you go. He was my friend! Get off of me!
Miss Gramps, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay, Jux. Because, uh... I know he's probably up in heaven somewhere playing grab ass with the angels. You know, I've worn out three sets of radial tires trying to find a chick as hot as you, Jux. I get off at nine. Well, actually, I have enough money that I could shut the restaurant down right now and make up for any kind of business you guys want. When I saw that tattoo, I realized that my grandpa wasn't senile. He was actually really cool, and he actually slept with Candace. A lot. I love my grandpa. Your grandfather was a really amazing man. I know. Wow. What the f Hey. You. Having sex with Lucky was a lot like having sex with Gramps. Except for that Gramps is a six foot four inch cowboy and well, Lucky isn't. But he's a cavern now, he's got that heart. <laughs> They're sassy, good hearted men. Feels right. Your grandpa would have been proud. He's a good man. Unga? I don't have time for your bullshit right now, okay? I'm trying to erect a statue to my grandpa. You know something? You're amazing. I think you just might be Lady Luck. Well, when Lucky called me that, my heart just melted. I knew I had to be honest with him. Actually, I knew I could be honest with him. I knew he'd be on my side no matter what. Lucky. Yeah? I'm pregnant, and it's your grandpa's child. We'll name him Grandpa. Grandpa Kavanaugh. I like the sound of that. Covenant's 
in the door, Punani, and we pursuing it. The whole week's been a mess, women as venomous. They shift and go in such an intellect, winning that internet. And your gal, I case, my space, didn't get up in my face, asking how the chicken phoenix pie tastes. So when the weekend come, I'm trying to peep in some, creep in some, deep in some, seeking season, son. Donde esta la fiesta, this is fling night. Dreams might come to reality, everything's right. Now we riding and drinking Bulu, catching green lights. By the time we make it, I'm drunk, trying to sing like Peter Cetera. I need a new Kara, my fleet is aware of. We looking for bitches, booties big as Vita Guerrero. No functions with no Bianca shaking they fly tails This weekend I smell pussy Your boy got a call from a promiscuous satin dog's Clydesdale Says she has some freaks in heat We'll be discreet, let's meet and greet If all is good, you tell me shit You know Cuddy, your local boyfriend Once I open the door, spin Three or four hundred working my floor plan I'm the reason behind your girlfriends running their mouth And who they girlfriends wonder about When they work, I'll remind them of something like R. Kelly I should have been on the remix cause all of these bitches tell me I'm a fan Mr. Super, do ya? Do ya? Rock in Mountain, through ya? Me and my ninjas pretending as if we never knew ya Do ya? Slew the How they react? They said they down to run our way and never turn back and keep asking Don't me esta la fiesta Yes, me on a quest for sex No pressure Don't me esta la fiesta Girl, I'm feeling fresh And I'm coming to get ya Don't me esta la fiesta What's my line? I don't know, guys Please, I'll do anything I need to eat uh, my grandfather needs to eat. I'm trying to get you out of here so we can go somewhere and exchange some bodily fluids if we decide to do it. Don't win this drink. Don't get grabby. Don't get grabby just because you're a big guy. Give me around. I'll take you. Cut. Oh, yeah. Cut. Hi, Manny Shevitz, Hollywood agent for Star. He's awesome. He's doing it. He's doing it. I'm buying some of We're not in Hollywood. <laughs> no shit. What, what are you doing with this guy? <laughs> you don't need him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's really... Back it up. <laughs> I don't have any money to buy him any food. I had to make him a water soup last night. Is that a butthole, Mrs. Lomax? <laughs> That's my husband. <laughs> that guy looks like an asshole. <laughs> I mean, you keep on going, tell me what. Who knew you could do that, Tech? <laughs> yes. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> they got to sit at the big, 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 big <laughs> So dubious of the whole thing. <laughs> stately. She's totally stately. She's trying to be classy. Oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Shevitz! <laughs> Quit the, doing the Jackie Mason bit. They go this way, you go that way. Hey, why don't you go that way? Listen, you should come this way. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How do we hear about this project? Oh, I'm looking over there. I got it. I'm good. And what about Lucky Cucumber himself? Who is that? <laughs> Bring him back up. <laughs> what a shit job. <laughs> All right. This is like on him. 
Yeah, yeah. it's from yeah. home. Mount me like a horse. Yeah. <laughs> mount me like a horse. Quote <laughs> <laughs> of the day. Quote of the day tomorrow. I'm gonna fuck you up. Fuck you up. Fuck you up. Harder. Payback. It's payback. Oh, you're off the hoot! Hey, I'm Sam Macaroni, director of Lucky Cucumber. And we just finished editing this movie. I'm standing here with Chapin Wilson. Get in here, Chapin. I am Chapin Wilson. And we got to the blooper section at the end, and we're 10 seconds short. Just a little bit short. We don't have enough bloopers. So, uh, we made this. Yeah. Well, this. Us saying, thank you for watching our movie. Thank you for making it through the bloopers. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, sweet! Uh, my name is Lloyd Kaufman. I'm president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger. You know, I'm the last stop on the train. You know, all these people, they take their movies to Paramount and, and Lionsgate, and the last stop on the train is Troma. But this time, the train went off the cliff because Troma didn't want it. That, <laughs> I mean, this, this is just the worst. I, I know 100%. I will bet my life on it that this movie and those two guys, Fonda and Fellini, they will be gone. They have no future.